Workers of Reddit, what is your best well? I'm getting fired moments at work. What were the consequences? I worked at an automotive parts manufacturing factory while going to art college. And part of my job was boxing up parts and attaching a tag onto the box with thin wire. But for every box I completed, one every couple hours, I sculpted a little animal out of the wire with needle nose pliers. I gave the little sculptures, bears, rabbits, whatever, to random employees. Which they left on their workstation. One day as I was making one of the little sculptures, I looked over my right shoulder to see my supervisor standing directly behind me just watching me with a clipboard. I paused, looked her dead in the eye, held out the sculpture and said, Want a bear? She fired me on the spot. I'm now an animator at Disney. I had the bright idea to shoot off a potato gun in the parking lot of my company. I fired a few rounds across the road when the maintenance manager came running out screaming at me. I then realized I was shooting a firearm on company property, doesn't matter it's potatoes and right guard. It is still a projectile. My fellow supervisors who were watching all disappeared. Went back to my desk to await my manager. All I got was an I trust this will not happen again email. Still work for the company and it occasionally gets brought up on my work anniversary. Edit. Thanks for the upvotes. My dad has a great one. He was a busboy at a restaurant. And it was his first day on the job. The place was packed. And he was rushing back with a ton of dishes. Somehow the tray to carry them fell and all of the dishes fell to the floor with a loud crash. Everyone looked over at my dad. My dad saw that there was one lone dish intact. Picked it up. Held it out at arm's length. Then dropped it. It broke. Everyone in the restaurant applauded. He was then fired. In high school I worked at an AM radio station in my small town on Sunday mornings. I was the only person there from 6am to noon. It was mostly reading the weather and playing pre-taped programs. At one point I play a live broadcast of a Catholic mass going on. During that time I would crawl into a ball in the break room couch and doze off. Hung over from the night before. One Sunday I wake up to Hawkeye 1200. You can't sleep on the job. I sit up and see the boss who runs the station standing over me with a frown. But I wasn't sleeping. I say. Just when I think he might buy it. He says. You have an alarm clock next to you. Double quote. Oh yay. I brought in an alarm clock that I'd set so I didn't oversleep. Hard to explain that one. I thought I was screwed but somehow he didn't fire me. I worked there another month and then left for college. I worked for a small computer company doing a couple million a year in sales. One of my tasks was to update price listings and have those changes reflect on our vendors websites. I put one less zero on one computer model and ended up costing our company $30.000 in about one day. Someone had noticed the error and bought a shitty ton of computers. Even though there was a QA process to catch these things after me. I knew I was getting fired. TLDR. I got fired. Edit. I should say that my boss was actually pretty cool about it. But they had to put the blame on someone. He told me I could still use them as a reference and that I could label the position as a short term contract. I was working at a cozy sandwich soup and salad place and had asked to leave early the previous day since my uncle died i went back to work and was still in a state of shock and couldn't check my baggage at the door i had this horribly bitchy lady change her order four times during the lunch rush when i had a line out the door i couldn't take it anymore and told her to either order or to the get the fck out of my line my manager heard me before he could say anything i took my apron and hat off Handed it to him and grabbed my stuff and left. I use ADM to manage my IMs while I'm at work. I'm a developer. I was speaking to a project manager at a new job. I'd been there for maybe a month. She was asking me to do some tedious work that was completely unnecessary because they promised it to a client. While well, frustrated. I tabbed over to my girlfriend's IM to complain how frustrated I was that they were making us do all this work for basically nothing. Unfortunately, I didn't tab over. I sent the arm to the PM. 
My heart sunk into my stomach. Saw the little icon that showed she was typing and was like. Oh shti how do I cover this up before she responds. I reread the comment and noticed I used a lot of pronouns. So when she responded. She thought I was talking to her about the client. Dear lord I thought I'd ruined my awesome new job right after it started. I worked for a privately owned restaurant deli. The owners were married and terrible people. I would get a phone call and be demanded to work in the next few hours on threat of being fired if I quit. Anyways. One day I got in a big deal of trouble for giving a customer double meat without charging him. Now I don't mean a talking to in the back office. I mean full on being screamed at in front of customers. Anyways after I back talked I was let go in front of a line of prospective buyers. As I walked put of the store. I looked over my shoulder and proudly said to my bosses I pooped in the cookie dough. This was a lie. But they didn't know it. We had a huge vat of it in the back. Our cookies were very popular, so it was a big deal to them. My co-worker eventually told me and the husband and wife devil duo looked through the door and couldn't tell what was chocolate chip and what was my poop, even though I never actually did it. They threw out the whole vat dollar sign 5001000. Felt good. Edit. Dot. On threat of being fired if I didn't show up. I don't know how quit got in there. I am a police dispatcher and one time at work I was working the desk and toys for tots workers came in. My boss joked that I should ID them to make sure they weren't thieves. We laughed and the gentleman took the 10 trash bags full of toys and left. Later that night a man called and asked when they could pick the toys up. After telling him that two guys already picked the toys up he informed me that we had most likely been robbed. He asked if I had ID'd them and I said no. He spoke to my boss and my boss then informed me that we would probably be on the news since a police station was robbed. Which was ironic and he flipped out on me. It turns out it was an off duty cop calling to play a prank on me. Used to work at Best Buy. Boss wouldn't give me Labor Day weekend off but I took it off and went up north anyway. Didn't call or show up for my shift on Saturday. Showed up on Monday like nothing happened. I go up front to get a flatbed cart for a customer and proceed to ride it back to my department. As I'm riding on the cart my manager sees me and asks where I was this weekend. I yell not here. Without breaking stride as I glide past him on the cart. We had a very brief talk and agreed it was best I leave. Felt pretty awesome. I must say. Well. This was actually kind of funny. I was hoping I didn't get fired. And no one confronted me because it was not really my fault. I lived in fear of the day people would finally notice oh. My company came around the call center and took pictures of people in their everyday lives in order to put on our website. Well. Me being cheery and dressed in a cute dress that day. I somehow managed to be on the front of our website as the face of our company. We have a few hundred thousand visitors to our website a month. Little did they know. If you looked really closely at the writing on my desk. You could see I had a bumper sticker that said life is too short to argue with stupid people and I had read it open on my desktop. Win. I'm a medical equipment repair technician. One night I was working on an exam light that was hanging from the ceiling in an operating room. I had a bit of it apart and was inspecting the connection between the big light head and the arm that it was suspended from when a clip popped out. The light had dropped to the floor. The arm is spring loaded and it shot up and shattered the ceiling and 5 or 6 lights showering the operating table. Anesthesia cart and myself in ceiling tile. Plastic and glass. At first I was in shock and what just happened didn't register in my brain. I reached down to pick up the light head, which is about 3 feet across, and grabbed the arm with my other hand. While trying to put them back together I realize I'm coating everything in blood. The or staff came running in and just saw me surrounded by destruction and covered in my own blood. Fortunately the charge nurse had a sense of humor. I once was chatting with a higher up manager about how a lot of people were away on the holidays. She said she may leave early. But was stuck pulling a couple extra hours with all the people out getting their stuff handled. As she was walking away. What I wanted to say was yeah. Don't want to have anyone working harder at their job than they have to this time of year or something like that. 
What came out of my mouth was yeah. Don't want to have to make you do your job. Double quote. She was already around a corner by the time I got that far. So my brain made me stop talking. Then I realized what I had just said. But it was too late. She was already gone. I heard about it quite a bit from my direct superior later. But nothing came of it. Not me. But a co-worker. I worked at a grocery store and one of my co-workers was gathering shopping carts outside. He was just minding his own business when... Out of nowhere. Some cops pulled up. They got out. Put him in handcuffs. Then proceeded to throw him in the car. Last I saw him. I can't imagine him seeing them and thinking. Damn it. I worked tech support for my university's school of engineering. It was late. And I was in the labs doing homework with people. After I finished. I was just wandering the halls because I was bored. One of my co-workers left his ID in a classroom. We use our IDs to unlock each classroom. So I had to let him in. Usually. We only have to slide our wallet over this black box. And if our ID is in there. It will unlock. I decided that since my wallet is in my back pocket. All I'd have to do is put my butt up against the wall. And the door would open. It was a little high. So I had to jump. I took a step. Jumped up. Spun around to scan my butt. And immediately put both feet through the drywall. I stuck the landing. Made eye contact with the other employee. And walked away. I came back. Slid a wet floor sign in front of the holes I made and put in a work order to have them filled. They were filled. And nobody besides me. And that co-worker ever knew I did it. I still work there. A client came in. And I confirmed on an old statement the client's personal bank account number. The client waved it away saying it was correct. I thought it was an old statement. So how could we possible have written the wrong bank account number on the statement? Turns out someone had used the statement as a template and changed the account number and saved over the original document. So when I printed it. I was printing an altered document. Client confirmed that as her account number. I transferred hundreds of thousands of dollars into a random account and swore up and down that I had transferred it into the client's account. Whoa. I must have turned a whiter shade of pale. A few years ago I was reading The Road by Cormac McCarthy while on my lunch break. Highly recommend. BTW. Comma at one point I came across a word I was unfamiliar with. The context in which it was used gave me no clue as to what it could have meant. This was before I had a smartphone. So I wrote the word down and decided to look it up online when I got back to the office. The word was catamite. Wait until you're at home to look it up if you don't know what it is. Explaining why I googled it was rather awkward. But I did not lose my job. Fortunately. I worked as a media buyer and on my third day on the job my boss asked me to find some information and update the huge spreadsheet he was working for the client's annual plan. As I was about to update it. He opened the file to finish a few things and asked me to wait. Now I'm the new girl. Wanting to show service. I decide to open a copy of the spreadsheet and update it there. So when he finishes I know where it goes. He finishes. Let's me know I can open the file. I just get mine, update it, and save on top of his work. I basically made him lose his entire day of work. The year round spreadsheet was ready and the one I had was a rough draw. I really thought he was going to throw his monitor on my head. He changed colors and had to leave the office in order no to curse me. I apologized the next day. So did he. And we agreed to always say versions from that day on. So. I work at a bank. Within my first two weeks. I left my money out. Now. Normally. If the drawer was locked. It wouldn't be a big deal. But I didn't do that. I just left a pile of cash. Roughly valued at $20. Zero zero zero. In two drawers out for an entire fking weekend. And nobody found it. From Friday morning. To Monday evening. Asterisk. Elbowed a kid in the face and burst his nose. I'm rather tall. 6ft5. And the kid had wandered up behind me to ask a question. 
I turned around. And his face happened to be on the perfect level for my elbow to make contact with it. Line cook at a restaurant. One of my managers was a black lady and we would rib on each other about ethnicities. I'm half Mexican. And one day she says America loves Mexicans more than black people. I said bullshit. We have to sneak our way across the border any way we can. And you all got a free cruise. She got a blank expression on her face. I looked at the guy next to me and he had the well it's been nice having you around look on his face. I look back at her and just grin because that's all I can do at this point. She slowly reaches out her hand and gives me a fist bump and commends me on my comeback. Didn't get fired. It did close down later though. Oh well. I worked at a call center and was joking around with a friend of mine. She had just engaged in a relationship with another girl and was complaining that the SX wasn't very good. Making jokes. And saying that she wanted to play with her new girlfriend's ass but her girlfriend was having none of it. Off mute. Without missing a beat. I just looked my friend and said. So. You like butt play. Do you? And then. Slowly. Quietly. I hear the customer's voice. You're off mute. Just so you know. I went pale. As soon as the call was done. I approached my supervisor, who was and still as cool as hell. I've left there but we still play games together all the time, and gave him a heads up in case a manager approaches him about it. Thankfully. It looks like the call went by unnoticed, in a time where we were having 20-25 calls a week listened to. And I only took about 10 a day, and I wasn't fired. I was surfing reddit on friday afternoon when I really needed to be finishing a couple of projects up. I had just entered my 20th thread when. Oh shit here comes the boss. I'll be right bar. Not me. But my coworker. I work at a hotel. And she is in housekeeping. She went in a room to strip it of dirty linen. Washed her hands. And left the hot water tap running. Three rooms were flooded because of that. I walk into the liquor shop where I worked for a few years and there's some clown behind the register. Turns out he's the new owner. Old owner decided to let us figure it out the hard way that we were out of a job. Ass. I found a hair towel on my way to work. It was stunned so I was able to pick it up. Another car stopped too. When they saw what I was doing and gave me a trash bag. I put the owl in the trash bag and put it in the trunk of my car. I called a raptor rescue and told them about the owl and said I could bring it after work. But they said I should keep an eye on it. In case it takes a turn for the worst. So I had no choice but to bring the owl into my office. I transferred it to a printer box. One time when I went to check on it. It had recovered and flew around the entire floor of my office. It was amazing its wingspan was nearly 5 feet and people could see its shadow move across their desk as it flew. It promptly shit on my friend's file cabinet and landed on his cube wall. I ran to get it but it flew away again and did another lap around the floor. Finally I was able to grab the bird and place it back in the box. The VP was to say the least not pleased. I thought for sure that was my last day at the company. No one ever said a word to me. But from that day forward I quit bringing any wild or tame, used to bring my dog into work before his grooming apt, animals into work. At that year's Christmas party they sang the 12 days of Christmas with the chorus and an owl flying in distress. This was many years ago working tech support sales for the up and coming godaddy. Com. I'm on a call with a customer who needs to reset her password. Since it's very difficult to turn a password reset call into a sale. We were required to wrap them up under 10 minutes. This woman is awful. Doesn't follow directions and is completely computer illiterate. 30 minutes into the call. And I'm still trying to explain the concept of highlighting text with her mouse and my supervisor comes over to ask what the hell is taking so long. Frustrated and aggravated. I mash the mute button. And once the light turns red. I turn to him and say. Sorry. This lady is a fking idiot. There is a brief moment of silence. I recall my supervisor's face morphing into a grin of understanding. When suddenly I hear in my headset. What? Dot. Scumbag mute button. Worst part is. If I had just called her an idiot without the adjective. 
I would have gotten off with a warning. There's a strict no swearing policy on the phone floor that no one. Even the managers. Followed. However. In the rare and unlikely case a customer heard you curse. You were fired without question. I worked at McDonald's in high school and was on the midnight shift with a very lax manager. We decided to make a prank call. I honestly don't remember the bit but I know I had to call someone at boarded horses. Anyway I forgot to block the store's number. The person I pranked left calling back every 10 minutes. My manager talked to them and tried to calm them down. But they kept calling until morning until they talked to the store manager. I didn't get fired but I got demoted from my crew trainer position. Which is even better for the purpose of the story. McNapps fires thousands of people every year but how many have been demoted? When I was younger I worked at small pet shop on the central coast. We sold mainly saltwater and some freshwater fish. Also we sold pre-mixed saltwater to customers that didn't have time to make their own. One of my tasks was to make sure the better bowls got clean and the water was changed. We kept a bunch of blue jugs in the back room that were always used for water changes they were usually filled with fresh water so we could top off the fish tanks. So I go about my day like usual and start cleaning the bowls. We had about 40 betters in stock at the time. I cleaned the bowls and replaced the water and moved on to help customers that started coming in. About an hour later I come and find most of them belly up and half dead. Nobody told me that the blue jugs had salt water in them. My boss had filled them up a day before and forgot to tell everybody. I didn't get fired but I did feel bad about the poor fish from that day I was known as the better killer. Reenacted the jack I'm flying scene from the Titanic in a shopping trolley. The managers gave us both a copy of the security footage. Years ago when I first started at the dealership I now run. I was working in sales. We had this skeevy. Dark bag of a lot attendant who went to school with my younger sister. For whatever reason. He was always talking about how he wanted to fck her and telling me she was a whore. I just ignored it. One day. He caught me at the wrong time and made a smart comment and I beat the living shti out of him right there in Tesh showroom. Shortly. Thereafter. The dealer principal called me into his office. I walked in and said. I beat up Rony today. And he replied. Sometimes we have to resort to violence for our family. But. I called you in to ask you about. Random car deal I was working at the time. TLDR good guy boss condoned beating up a guy who insulted my sister. Working as an executive assistant to a VP and she asks me to go online and pay a speeding ticket that her son, a grown man. I'll have you know, got. Now. Her son is notorious for getting speeding tickets and then she pays a lawyer to contest them because if he pled guilty and she paid them all they would take away his license. I go online and I'm not paying attention so instead of clicking just the one ticket to pay I select all, about 4 or 5, of them and proceed to pay them. The minute the transaction is approved I realized my mistake and start to panic. I find the contact number and call them in my panic mode and beg them to reverse the payment. Explained my situation and told them I was going to get fired over this. Zero fucks were given. I now have to go in and tell my boss that not only did I just charge about $1,500 to her credit card but I can't reverse it and her son is probably going to lose his license because of it. She was not amused but I didn't get fired. It did however cost her an additional $1,000 or so in lawyer's fees to have them fix my FCK up and she hasn't asked me to pay another one of his tickets since. My office has a private IM system we use to communicate with each other. Something like my second week of working here. I went to I'm a co-worker who I was getting to be friends with a comment making fun of the VP's outfit that day. Except. I accidentally IM'd the VP instead. He didn't laugh it off either. He just got really awkward in that oh I'll just brush it off but secretly I'm really pissed sort of way. Shockingly. I did not get fired and still work there 6 years later. Bussing tables washing dishes at a steakhouse. The kitchen floor was absolutely slick as soon as the place got even a little busy. I was coming back with a tray of glasses and heard this huge K rash. I look around like a doofus wondering what happened. 
then slowly realize I'm sitting on the floor next to a pile of broken glass. Consequence. Got a better job a week later and quit. Here is my recent one, like yesterday, two day prior my boss assigned me a task. I completed the task. Replied all to her original email with saying hey here is my task it is done. Apparently I shouldn't have replied all. So instead of telling me that she added the head of the company and HR and told me never to send an email like that ever again and she only asked for my support. She is the lead on this project. Now keep in mind this task was simple. Meaning tracking down clothing and marking on a document if they were in house or had to be ordered from the warehouse. So flash forward to Thursday. I ask for a meeting to discuss this email. I'm confused. HR woman is confused. She even came into my office and admitted that she read the email over and over and has no idea what I did wrong. Then boom I'm fired for my attitude. First time I have ever been fired in my whole life. I have never once got a reprimanded or scolded in any job I have ever had. So drink one for me Imga. It has been a shitty week. The only silver lining is that someone quit because I was fired. So I feel like Jerry Maguire. Where's my bag of fish? My supervisor used work construction. And him and another guy were working on a second story roof when the guy pissed off my supervisor. Who proceeded to throw him off the roof. When he walked downstairs. His boss met him at the door and said. You know you're fired. Right? My supervisor looked at him and sighed. Yeah I figured that when I threw him down. Double quote. I work at a major electronic retail store in Canada. It was the day of the Xbox One release day. We only receive a limited amount of consoles as expected. There is no room for an infinite amount of consoles. So a guy came in at night and was looking around the store and whatnot. I asked him if he needed any help and he just kind of snubbed me off. So I'll let him be. A few minutes later. He came back up to me and asked me very rudely if we have any more of the consoles left. I had told him that we were sold out and we can put his name down on a waiting list. So he proceeds to tell me how much of a worthless bag of shit I am because I don't have any boxes for him and he came all this way just to get one and I can't help him. So he ended up buying some games which I rung through for him. I asked him if he wanted a bag. He said a bag? Why the fck would I want a bag? Just give me the games. So I gave it to him and said have a nice day and go fck yourself. Manager overhead me and pulled me into his office. I explained what happened. He laughed. High fived me. And said he would have done the same thing. Thank you. Awesome manager. I got a summer job working for a new start web company dealing with used automobiles. My manager was a colossal cunt. Anyway the website was shitty and he was supposed to change it but didn't. I asked my cousin, a web developer, to look at it for improvements. And he showed me how to hack into it. One night I got drunk and changed the featured vehicle on the front page to a big black veiny doldo with the registration plate D1LD0 and he found out it was me. I walked in. Said my bad. I better quit really. Two weeks later, after I quit. I heard the said manger had stolen the major investor's spare car. Bankrupted the company and was drunk on the phone telling the investor he would stab him if he tried to get his car back. It was a really healthy working environment. I worked at a paintball field owned by a very religious man and this day we had a group of Baptists playing that was mostly 10-14 year old kids. I got a chance to hop in and play at the end of the day. So I did. I ran up the center. Got shot in the shoulder. And went to walk back to the dead box when the kids on my own team lit me up. So what did I do? Yelled Jesus fuck. I'm on your team. And threw my gun at the net. I still had the job because my boss is very forgiving. But damn that was close. I worked at a surf shop for two days after college. It was the most mundane shit ever. I basically just walked around looking for shirts to fold all day long. On the third day, they asked me to go drive to work at one of their other stores about 10 miles down the road. When I got there, they told me to change shoes because I was wearing sandals. This wasn't an issue at the other store. It was a goddamn surf shop. 
while I was driving back home to get shoes. I got a call to interview for a more legitimate job. At that point I just said fuck it and didn't go back. I ended up getting the other job. Teaching first grade and two of my kids got into a fist fight on the carpet. I immediately run over and pull them apart and the principal walks in. The kids are taken out of my room and I think oh shit. I'm gone. As we were warned to never touch students. Got fired a couple days later. Two incidents. Boss had been rude to me for a while and I wasn't over the last shift's abuse. Boss made an insulting comment about me loud enough so I would purposefully hear it. This is by far my largest pet peeve. Went up to him gave him my hat and yelled I am sick of your shit. This was in front of all of the employees. He responded fine go. I think I would have been fired quit if I didn't immediately respond with give me, his boss's, number. His mood changed quickly and I ended up getting a raise. I would not suggest this tactic. Second incident was having a massive nosebleed. Took some generic medicine that I didn't recognize to deal with my constant coughing. Apparently it had cleared up my sinuses that were infected. You know when you are biting into an onion ring and the whole onion strip decides to all fall out at once? You get all of the onion on your chin. Imagine that only with nose blood. Also instead of my chin it was the customer's food. In front of the customer. My boss and co-worker have the same name. After I lost a big client few years ago. I got a call from what I thought was my co-worker and told him I lost a client and said it was my boss's fault for not giving me enough time and rushing the deadline. He didn't say a word till I got back to the office. Thank god he is my sister's college friend. Where I used to work. I would pick on some of the staff I'd gotten along with. One night. I had just finished talking to the general manager. When my co-worker comes by. We pick on each other a bit and she says jeez. Kerano. Why do you always pick on me and not the general manager? Double quote. I casually said. Well that's because I like you. I'm never going to live that down. Ever. I am a beverage cart girl at a golf course. One slow day. I was booking it around the cart path looking out at the course not down at the path and bam I hit the curb. This jerked the cart up onto the hill and before I knew it. The cart and all the contents were on top of me. Luckily. I had my phone on me so I called for help. The chef. GM and manager had to lift the cart off of me. It was my very first ambulance ride. I thought for sure I was going to get fired. I totaled a beverage cart. And cost them several thousands in doctor's bill because of workers comp. But instead they paid me for the rest of the day and I'm full time now. I forwarded a beating invite for a client meeting to my boss that said this woman is up my ass and I need some support here because she won't leave me the hell alone until we actually help her. Double quote. In the end. It turns out it wasn't sent to her. But the format of Outlook makes it look like updated notes about meeting invites go to everyone. And I believed it went to her. I had a full blown panic attack and started sobbing under my desk. A few years back I was collecting a customer's car to deliver to their home on the back of my recovery truck. I'd never driven a car quite so powerful as this before and driving it onto the back of truck gave it a little too much gas. Panicked. Missed the brake. Slipped back onto the accelerator putting the car into the back of the truck cab and causing you acute 4k worth of damage to the truck. And you acute 25k worth of damage to the brand new Aston Martin DB9. Work as an IT assistant. There was a box of very important equipment that went missing that totaled a little over 4 grand. Though not in my job description. I'm considered the office organizer. I'd never seen the box in my life. Yet everyone is pointing fingers at me. The good news was that I didn't haven't lost my job. The bad news was is the team will. Deep down. Always believe it's my fault the box went missing despite the fact that I have never even seen it. TLDR blamed for losing something I never had. Worked in a private clinic. Medical. My boss had asked me to send a picture of a port on my home PC for some reason I don't remember at the time. I got home. 
took a picture of it and sent it to my bot and then promptly realized not only was it a picture of the port, but also the massive bong in the background. I sweated it out that night and was sure I'd get reprimanded or fired the next day. He never said a word. Working as a high school teacher. Called home to chat about a student's behavior. Left a polite voicemail when no one answered. Proceeded to think that I hung up phone. Looked over at colleague and started swearing up a storm about this kid. Saw phone light still on. Had a small heart attack. When I was a teenager. I worked at the movie theater. Quite a large theater. 20 screens. One night I was up front at the box office. And it was an insanely busy night. Uh, clearly, homeless man walks up and asks me to exchange his rolled coin for bills. And I told him. No. You'll have to get manager approval. He disappears for a while and returns. Saying he had spoken with a manager who had approved it. I was so flustered. I didn't think. Grabbed the rolls, marked 10, and gave him $60 out of my till. In the back room at the end of the night. I broke them open and, obviously, comma they were full of pennies. I thought for sure I was a goner. But the float for the day was over by quite a bit and it only ended up in the negative by a small amount. They called me dimes from then onwards. Looking back. I cringe so hard at my stupidity. But lesson learned. I guess.